Hey everyone, Ty Long here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Alan Wake. It has been three weeks since the last recording I did of this. Hopefully it won't be that long between the last part and this part on YouTube, so... <laughs> God damn it. I don't know what happened, okay? I, I started... Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think couldn't focus I don't know where I left off I literally can't remember anything that's happened up to this point for the most part I generally understand the gist of the things that were happening but by and large I think I'm gonna be really really confused hi Good evening Alan are we feeling better now feeling calm no yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you so sure I'm calm I get the message, loud and clear. Why, right, that's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay, follow Dr. Hartman. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Okay. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. I have no idea what's happening. I must have ended at like a huge... Oh, okay. You're just gonna let... Did you just lock that door? You just locked the door from the... Okay. I'm gonna let you be glitchy. That's fine. Now, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. But... Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. Mm. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're you call me crazy? By nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Well, no, it can't. That all by itself is kind of a logical fallacy. There are things we don't understand. Not everything can be explained because we don't understand everything. Tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Um. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Okay, I need to remember that I can switch camera angles to the side. telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. 
Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. voice. I was going to say, are you going to let me say words? Inside my head. But I, I dug my do nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. My you God, do you ever shut up? We can begin the journey towards your recovery. You seem a little vain, dude. Come along. Let's Talk a lot. Inside. Like, I... You... Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Is that guy okay? I'm wonderful, yeah. Um. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah, trash, yeah. of course, but yeah. it does I'll involve some the small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. La, 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 la. I don't think this person understands video games. I don't think this therapist understands video games. Video games is probably one of is where is the interest film animation in video games is like the biggest intersection of art and science in and in, of any industry of any other industry it's like one of the biggest intersections I don't remember the name of that song but you've been writing as a part of the therapy as soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh, the Flight of the Valkyries. Is that what it's called? What am I reading? Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're involuntarily... You're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been super, superficially, specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow. Work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Okay. Are you? Killing me. Oh, those people There's were real. Storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin um, and Tor. They I know. Had, how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Uh huh. I see someone painting a. Oh. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? 
Um, I'd like to no. bash his head in with a hammer. No, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Wait, yeah. they... Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Um. <laughs> Say, I don't. All right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We I'm it all down lest we questioning everything. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Okay. How? My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom. Do. Okay, Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Okay. Who's on you? I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to my room. I really don't want to deal with anyone. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, do I just take the stairs? The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but if I get to Brown. Something's wrong. I'll do that, Birch. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. Hey, I can wake. Only focus why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room for days, but it's Who is talking to me? Are you are you seeing me through the floor? Because that's weird. Yeah, I know where my room is. I I the white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Oh my god. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Okay. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Martin had mentioned that the power had been acting out. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. So, what? I need to. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> nah. I need to leave somehow? Oh, collectible. I'll take that. It's my store. I'm taking it. We're on a comeback door, Oh, manuscript baby. page. Barry in the lodge. He kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Okay. Am I supposed to go down here? Is this bad? Am I? Oh, I'm investigating the racket. Uh oh, well. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if the she was one of Hartman's goons, she yours, had it coming. Tom. I could Save get the key to the destiny. office from Sinclair. Um. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. It's time to pay the piper. I'm just gonna leave. Maybe you could come out. 
so tough, Birch. I don't need these images. Uh, oh, is it down? Well, someone should probably call the cops, but I'm just going to do my own thing. Why did you sound like a zombie? What? Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean Oh. I'm sorry, Barry. I didn't mean to interrupt you like that. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Don't let him really walk way. closer. Come on, let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Hmm. So I'm thinking only half this story is true. Half of everything that I'm seeing is probably true. The other half is probably like... My brain is making this up because I feel like I'm... I don't feel like I'm sane. This doesn't feel like... Anything so that would be sane that would happen to me. To find a way out. What's that? Oh god. The darkness approaches. Let's go. Let's go. Am I not supposed to go that way? Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, not that way. I might die. Bookshelves out of my way. Wait, I don't have a light. Where am I gonna find a light? No, 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 no. Hold on. Am I going upstairs? Oh, am I turning on the generator? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oops. No. Ah, fuck. Two. God damn it. One. Two. Three. Okay, so now I should be able to leave, right? Ow, you son of a I'm literally gonna die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got the flare. Oh, God. Okay, so not that way. Okay, definitely that way. Where am I going? Okay. Manuscript. Hartman knew he was oh. no creator. No, 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 no. This one. 
Hartman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Hartman followed the Not this. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Oh, okay. This? Nope. Oh, did it open? Well, I can't do anything about what? It well, I can't do that. I'm protected. I can't get out. Why can't I get out? Oh, that's how I run. Oh, God. Oh, no. Do I have to do this? Do I have to get it to slam against the door? Come on. There we go. There we go. Smash the door open. Come on. What? Oh, God. I'm going to die. I'm literally so close. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my god. Go. I found the card, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. No. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Okay. I'm just gonna run for it. Not wasting the light on that. I'm actually gonna run this way. Nope. Wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. Fucker. Oh god, I actually have to go that way. Okay. That's all she wrote. Give me that. I think I hear footsteps, but I'm gonna I ignore it. the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. 
It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Oh my god. You can't do that. You really cannot do that to me. Thanks. You're definitely helping. Can you guys let me out? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys suck. Oh fuck. Everything. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. This is so mean. Fuck off. You fucking suck. God damn it. I remember the big guys just sucking. That should definitely be a checkpoint, getting that far in, because that's really annoying that I have to do all that again. Around the corner. Okay, this next area, I'm reloading my weapon.
Come on. Sit down. There you go. Oh, manuscript page. That's important. Oh my god, what? Between that one and this one, I skipped three? No. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Oh, hey. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, there's multiple of them. How the fuck? How in the world am I supposed to do all of this? Oh my god. Son of a bitch. If you can't, the channel will turn off. We don't want any fighting. It makes people sad. Hey, nope. So they're going to come from that direction on the right side because they can't really hop the fence on that left side here. So I could stay here as long as I watch the birds. Son of a... I fucking... Fuck you, dude. Okay. Get out of here. You fuckers. I am trying my goddamn best here. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Please give me everything that's in here.
Come on, come on, come on. Next area, let's make it. Okay, there's a light, which means saving area. Yes, checkpoint. I don't like this game. Oh my god. I don't have any more bullets. I swear to God, they can't throw anything else at me right now. Because this would not be fair. Oh, no. Checkpoint reached. This game goes by so quick. When I'm playing some other games on this channel, it I'm like... Checking the clock. What the f... Oh, there goes fireworks. Happy 4th, everyone. Hopefully that's not too distracting of a sound. I heard it through my headphones, so that's how I know it happened. Okay, okay. Thank you for the checkpoints. A shoddy. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna use the shoddy right away, though. I want. Ah, oh, fuck me. How do I switch my weapon? God damn it. I totally just wasted that. Good thing I just ended at a checkpoint, but still. Manuscript Hartman sedates Wake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Ugh. Oh, you thought I didn't see you. Oh, you're Barry. Never mind. Hi, Barry. Ow! You're alive! I know. Let's get out of here. Amazing, right? Really? I'll find it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was real loud. You guys hear that? Today would have been a good day to probably uh, use my uh, dynamic microphone because holy shit, that's is being picked up a lot by my mic. Okay, well, I gave it as much time as I could. I gave it a full-on 20 minutes. I sat here waiting, and they're still going off pretty, pretty frequently. It's like every minute or so, which is a little too frequent since I'm recording a story game that doesn't have a lot of spaces where I can afford to have random interruptions, so... Uh... Happy belated fourth, I guess. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you return to my channel sometime soon for other videos and other streams I'm going to be doing. Until next time, 
Peace out. It's your Kagebushi signing off. Bye now. <laughs>